code also notes. This would be such as bronchiectasis with acute lower respiratory infection. Let's look at that. A code also note is our key that two codes are required to fully describe a condition. But that doesn't mean a code also is not a sequencing guideline. That sequencing is going to depend on the condition that brought the patient in that is being treated based on our guideline definition. Let's look at bronchiectasis. And I have with, let me open that up. All right, so I have acute, lower respiratory infection. And I'm gonna go to this code, J47.0. My code also is to identify any infection if applicable. So if I know that I have bronchitis, then I would identify bronchitis as my specific infection. Whoops, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Let's look at this. Let's just pull up the code for the sake of looking at everything. I'm gonna go to I want us to look at this note, this J44.9. This is our COPD. You are going to see this condition quite a bit. We have our code also, if asthma. We have additional code. So if this patient has a history of tobacco dependence, then you're going to code that. If this patient has tobacco dependence current or current use of tobacco use, Remember, there's a definition difference between dependence and use. You want to pay attention to what the physician documents. Just because he's using it does not, uh, does not determine that he is dependent upon it. This code right here, I wanted to pull it up today because I wanted you to see the different instructional notes that we have here. We have includes, we have code also. We have use additional, we have excludes one, excludes two. So this is a good example of to go in and look at this and become familiar. You will see this diagnosis 